This video explains how to calculate the three dimensions of a display by using what I call aspect ratio scaling instead of the Pythagorean theorem. Um, uh, aspect ratio defines the dimension of a screen by using the width and height dimensions to create ratios. More about this later. In the audiovisual industry, one very common task is to calculate the dimensions of a flat panel display or a projection screen before you go out and buy it. The typical formula that is used is the Pythagorean theorem, or a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So we're all very familiar with this formula. And I got tired of all the steps that it takes to, to use Pythagorean theorem because there is all the square roots and the exponents. So I thought I'd come up with a different way. Uh, that different way involves creating these uh, three models that have all three dimensions on them. Those three dimensions are height, width, and the diagonal. And I can use these as templates for figuring out all the dimensions of any size display that uses these aspect ratios. So I don't need to use the Pythagorean theorem at all. Uh, just a little description here on these real quick. This is a 4 by 3 aspect ratio on this one. So this is the data for 4 by 3. This is 16 units wide and 9 units high. Uh, that's, that's this one. And the aspect ratio here is 16 by 10. And all these are width by height. So th these are the, are the three templates here that I've made. So uh, let's do a practice problem here. Let's assume that I know the width of my potential screen is 48 units wide. And my aspect ratio is 4 by 3, so I use the 4 by 3 model, and I divide the number of units of my desired image by this template value here of 4. 48 divided by 4 is 12, so what that means is my desired size is 12 times larger than the template. So now I can apply that scale of 12 from step 1 to determine the other two dimensions. So in effect, I'm just scaling the model up to the desired size. So as you can see here in these results, um, the diagonal is 5 here times 12. It's like a scaling factor. 5 times 12 equals 60. So that's the length of my desired, uh, that's the diagonal of my desired image now. 3 here times the factor of 12 gives me 36. So now I know the height. So now I know the height, the width, and the diagonal of this image and didn't need to use the Pythagorean theorem at all. Uh, let's try another example here with 16 by 9. So let's say my diagonal dimension now is 105 units long. So it's this diagonal dimension right here. Um, 105 divided by 18.36. This is my 16 by 9 aspect ratio template here. So 105 divided by 18.36 equals 5.7. So now I can carry this through to uh, the other dimensions of the triangle, which are the height and the width. So I know my, my that this is 5.7 times larger than this. So 9 here times 5.7 equals 52. So now I know the height of, of my screen. The width here is 16. 16 times 5.7 equals 92. So now I know that the length, I'm sorry, the, the, the width of this here is now 92 units. Now when I talk about units, I mean either using feet uh, or inches or millimeters. You can't mix metric units like millimeters with U.S. units like feet or inches because then uh, all these numbers come out wrong. But uh, this process that I just showed you is pretty much it. It's as simple as that. So you can create a spreadsheet using this information and then it's even easier. No, You don't need to use exponents, you don't need to use square roots, you don't need to use the Pythagorean theorem at all. So I, I found this pretty useful and I hope you will too. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it.